Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. I am so excited because this is the first time I've ever created a skincare video. Taking care of your skin is something I am so passionate about and I'm so excited to share it with you guys because whenever anyone asks me, what do you do with your skin? Like what products do you use? I'm just like, ah, let me tell you. Today I'm going to be going over the Avino Clear Complexion daily cleansing pads. Now I saw these at Long's Drugs the other day, which is a store here in Hawaii. They were on clearance. They, I think, were like $4.50. And I had seen these online before and I was like, girl, I need to get a pair. Pair. So I got one and it has 28 self-foaming dual textured pads. It has these little round pads like so in here pads like this. I was a bit skeptical because of the low price point. Now high price doesn't necessarily mean high quality, but a low price is oftentimes a big indicator of low quality. So I decided I'd give these a try. I have tried them once. I tried it in the morning right after I showered. Um, rather than using my traditional Clarisonic and cleanser, I decided to go in with one of these. I put it all across my face. It felt really nice. It was cool to the skin. It foamed all over my face, which a lot of times I like to see foam because that means it's more drying to the skin. And because I have more oily skin and because of the humidity Hawaii in Hawaii, I really look for something that is more drying to the skin. So I used it and then I noticed about 15 minutes after I had washed it off my face, my skin got really red and I do not have sensitive skin at all. My skin can go through hell and back and just be like, Ooh, that was a nice little jog. So when my skin got pretty red, I was like, hmm, I'm not too sure about this product, but I decided I'd give it a review and I'm gonna be testing it over the next two weeks daily. I'll come back to the video to show you guys what my final thoughts are. In the meantime, now is the time for the ingredients. Now, I went through each of the ingredients in this list. Because there's not that many, I'm just going to go through each of them and mark them as either good or bad. For this, I am using paulaschoice.com, which is an amazing website that gives you a play-by-play -play description of each of the ingredients that you can find in your skincare sets. I love it because whenever I have a question about like what kind of ingredient that is, I just look at it, search it in Paula's Choice, and it'll give me a description along with resources to know if it's a good product, if it's a bad ingredient, etc. So, first ingredient in this product is water. No, I'm just kidding. The second ingredient is glycerin, which is good. Glycerin is great because it's derived from natural sources, as well as it's a more drying effect to the skin, which helps with oil control. Some people complain about it being too drying. I personally like it when glycerin is in products because it means it'll control all the oil that my skin produces throughout the day. The third ingredient is, let me read this because it's really hard to pronounce, sodium C14 through 16 olefin sulfonate. This ingredient is not very good. Um, the reason why, it's derived from coconut, but because of the oils within it, it can be somewhat aggravating to the skin as well as extremely drying. Now, because this is the third ingredient on the list, that does worry me a little bit because the higher up an ingredient is on the ingredient list, the more concentration there is within the product. Now as I'm looking through all these ingredients I realize there is a lot and we do not have damn time to go through that in this video so I'm just gonna pick up some of the best ingredients within the list so I can highlight them to decide whether or not this is a good product to use or a bad product to use. An ingredient is glisten soja sterols which is really good. The good thing about it is that it's not drying to the skin but instead quote serves to lubricate and have an emollient texture unquote. Paul's choice. The last ingredient I'm going to go over is sodium hydroxide, which is more on the downside, I'd say. On Paula's Choice itself, it's an average ingredient, but let me tell you guys why I don't think it's a good one. Skin is somewhat sensitive to sodium hydroxide because it's a high alkaline ingredient, and that's why I usually recommend not going with it in certain products. However, sodium hydroxide is the second to last ingredient in the list, which means it has a very low concentration, so I'm not too worried about that for this product because it means that it probably has just a very tiny bit in order to neutralize the pH of your skin but not enough to really irritate the skin. The main thing about this product that I love is that it's specifically for oily skin in order to combat 
oil production on your skin. Now, I usually have combination skin. I have an oily T-zone and dry cheeks. However, because I live in Hawaii and it's so freaking humid all the time, especially right now when it's summer, this product specifically has salicylic acid, which I love. It's a beta hydroxy acid, which helps to control oil while deep cleanse pores, as well as other anti-aging and hydrating benefits. The one thing about salicylic acid in this product though is that it's only at 0.6%, which is not really a high concentration for salicylic acid. There may be a reason for this because different skincare products vary in their effect depending on the concentration of something like salicylic acid, but I usually prefer 2% salicylic acid in my skin cleansing moisturizing toning products and so the fact that it has a little bit less is worrisome to me however girl I can't complain this was a four dollar and fifty cent product if I'm complaining about it not having two percent salicylic acid I can go over and buy a hundred dollar serum so those are all the ingredients within the product it looks like we've gotten a pretty good feel for it now I'm gonna try to forget about my first experience that I had with the product how red it made my skin sometimes with powerful skincare products that just happens the first time so I'm gonna try it over the the next two weeks and I will check back with you guys at that point. See you guys then. So I put the Aveeno cleansing pad on my face like 10 minutes ago I'd say and I did my moisturizer and SPF routine and my face is so red like look at my nose and look at the spots all over. Like it looks so bad. It looks like I have a really bad rash on my face and this is ridiculous. Like no skincare product should be doing this and it burns a lot. And one of the rules of skincare is that a burning sensation is not good at all. Like it's not good to feel burning on your skin. It doesn't mean that it's like, oh, really cleansing it or really, you know, um, making sure that the pores are cleared. No, you're not supposed to feel any burning sensation. That means your skin is really sensitive. And I do not has, have sensitive skin. Like I, I really don't. I, my skin can go through a lot but this is ridiculous aloha everyone so I'm guessing you've already seen the video of what happened earlier today I was so mad about that it took forever for my skin to finally like ugh, get normal throughout the entire day I had to finally calm it down tonight because I was busy throughout the rest of the day and I had to go out with the redness in my face. I was able to use the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detoxifying Hydrating Mask. And thankfully that like really smoothed out my skin as far as tone goes. It's not as red anymore. There's still a little bit of redness on my nose. That's combined with the normal amount of redness I usually get in my nose anyway. But it did add a little bit extra and it's still there and it's driving me nuts. But for the rest of my face, Peter Thomas Roth really helped the trick. When I started using this, I noticed that my face would get red and I've used it for about five days in a row. I was almost to the point of using it for an entire week like I promised you guys, but I only made it about five days with this product because of this stupid incident today. But I noticed a little bit of redness whenever I used the product, which really annoyed me, but the redness would usually go away about five minutes after I put it on and my skin didn't feel particularly sensitive to it so I was just like mm, maybe that's an effective skincare products because sometimes skincare can make your skin a little bit red or irritated at the very beginning but today I did my usual routine I cleansed in the shower using my regular facial cleanser that I've always used I stepped out and I did this treatment pad and I didn't keep it on any longer than I normally have. Nothing, like nothing was rare about it. And then I put on my moisturizers, SPF afterward as well. Like everything was normal and all of a sudden it decided to act up like crazy. What I showed you guys was like 10 minutes after the redness has started. It was ridiculous because I was like, ah, it's gonna go down. You know, sometimes it gets red, but then my face started burning so much and it was so intensely red that I started to think, um, this is a problem, I should take a video to show my viewers what the hell is going on with this product. So overall, maybe this product will work for some people, for me it did not work. And let me tell you, like I've said twice in the video, I do not have sensitive skin. My skin can be put through a lot, it's, it's really good at managing products, trying new things, but it did not work for this at all and it drove me crazy. So I will be saying, boo bye. 
Sorry, I thought I hit my phone. And that's it for this video. Make sure to tune in next week for my new product review. I don't know what I'll be posting yet, but for you to know, you can subscribe to my channel so that I will be posting it and you can see it right away. Comment down below what you thought of this product and feel free to let me know what product you would want me to try. I'm always open to your guys' suggestions. You can find more information about this product below, but overall I would not recommend it. It is not a good product for me personally. It sucked. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.